of cancer and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so we are in august you guys made it through the retrogrades you made it through cancer season you made it through a lot of the emotional stuff that came so i really hope that you guys enjoyed your birthday season i hope that you enjoyed you know just everything that july had to offer but again i know it was tough for a lot of people so hopefully you guys weren't getting you know the short end of anything but we're through it um now guys i am going to be doing one more reading um for the month of august before i do your two other bonus readings that i owe you guys so you can still vote on it go to the community section um on my instagram on my instagram on my youtube and uh, just vote for the one that you would like to scroll down a little bit okay so what is going on with the sign of cancer august 2019 What is going on for my cancers? August 2019. Now guys, this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus um, signs. And do keep in mind guys that I do post daily energies every day on my Instagram, High Vibrations 44 if you wanna check that out, okay? All right guys, so we have your past, present, future okay so the energy that we have here is the knight of swords in the reverse now when this energy shows up it can show a reckless energy coming from you it could be someone close to you okay um this is someone who's usually very very intellectual but this time around it's like they really just threw themselves into something without putting much thought into it we have the tower card and the ace of swords in the reverse so just something that happens where there's a huge change. It's like the ground beneath you is shaking up. And it's something that, realistically speaking, it could cause arguments. It can cause conflict. Um, it could cause people to feel a loss. But it is something that is recovered from. All right. So let's just jump into this and see what this is talking about, Cancer. So starting with your past, guys, the first card that you have here is the Seven of Cups in the Reverse. Now, when the Seven of Cups in the Reverse um, comes out, this is clarity in the situation. This is seeing something for what it is. Um, if, you sure, if you weren't sure like what path to take or you weren't sure what was the best move for you, this is you realizing you know, the best direction. We have the King of Wands. And we have the Five of Cups in the Reverse. So for some of you, maybe there was a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius that was very significant in your life. And, you know, it puts you kind of in a place where if there was any losses or anything that made you feel sad, this helped you heal. For others of you, if this wasn't a person in your life, then this could be you taking on this energy where you're really taking charge of something that you're doing. Whether it's a project, whether you're just like a boss and you know something that you're creating but this is someone who's very passionate about what they do um they're naturally just you know they're just natural leaders okay now the next card that you guys have for your past is the three of cups in the reverse so this could be a card about third party situations in love where one person could be seeing more than one person um this could be a sense of depression sometimes this could be a sense of having to fall out from a particular um group of people so let's see why this is here Five of Swords in the Reverse. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you, this could have had to do with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay. Or maybe there was some sort of third-party situation or just a tough situation here. For others of you, this could have just been the approach that you were taking um, just with what you were dealing with where you're going to really look at every step the ins and outs of every step before you actually take that step. So it's like you're very prepared every time you move forward. The one thing I do know is that you're really just trying to avoid conflict at all costs with the situation. So with the last card that you guys have for the past, you have a Nine of Swords in the reverse. So this talks about being in a place where you just don't want to lose sleep anymore. You don't want to be anxious anymore. It's like you're kind of letting things go. And there's a sense of patience that you have within yourself while you're doing this. We have the Four of Cups in the reverse. And we have the seven of pentacles so it's like you're in a place again where you're not trying to be worried about something but you're waiting for something to be accepted or you're waiting for some sort of offer of some sort to come in okay 
your soul is at ease with the direction you're going in though so that's a good thing now in your present moment guys the first card that you have is the page of pentacles so this could be again taurus virgo capricorn energy but this is usually a communicator or someone who's really just in the building stages of something we have the full card And the lover's card in the reverse. So you guys are in a place where there's something that you're brewing up. There's something that is really coming in for you where you're so ready to have a new start. You're talking about this new start. You're excited about this new start. But you know that there's something that um, either may not last if you go towards this new start. Or there could be at least one other person that you're really having a lot of conflict with in regards to this new start that's coming in. Okay. The next card that you guys have for the present moment, and this is the center of your reading, so every card is going to tap into this. We have the Ten of Wands into the uh, Ten of Wands in the reverse. There is a very heavy burden that you guys are releasing with this. Let's see what this is about. We have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Sun card in the reverse. So in this case, because sometimes the sun card in the verse, it could be an unexpected blessing or just unexpected news that comes out. I feel like this is unexpected news where somebody is standing their ground with something that, I don't want to say it's foul. For some of you, I just feel like you're moving on from a particular situation, especially if it was within love. And you can be going towards someone else and you want to stand your ground with that. Or it could be vice versa where you're where it's like you're kind of parted ways with someone who's seeing someone else and they're standing their ground with that. Um, but with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, this is someone who can just be, I don't want to say so much reckless, um, but this is someone who can really talk the talk, but they're not necessarily walking the walk. This is someone that um, isn't always making the most responsible decisions, but it's like somebody here wants to stand their ground with that because they feel very at ease with the decision that they are making, okay? So the next card that you guys have is the Two of Pentacles, some sort of juggling, some sort of, uh, you know, sense of wanting to find balance. Why is this Two of Pentacles here? We have the King of Swords. And we have the Queen of Wands. So let's take a step back for a moment, okay? Because, you know, just with this middle energy, there's something here, you know, just with this Queen of Pentacles energy, because I don't even think I talked about this. I'm just like moving on to the next part. My apologies, guys. But with this Queen of Pentacles here, this could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. Um, and it's like there's some sort of burden that's being released in regards to this energy. But something unexpected is also coming out with this. Um, if this isn't a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your life, then this could just be someone who, you know, it could be you as well, but just someone who... Um, is very grounded, most likely very good with their money, very reliable, okay? So now we go to a situation where there's a sense of juggling, where honestly, I feel like it's, it's a mix between do I go for what I'm passionate about or do I go for what seems most logical, okay? It could be someone who's looking to see, you know, maybe which person should I be with. It could be an air sign versus a fire sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. For fire sign leo aries sagittarius so maybe it could be that um but i feel like you guys are really debating how do i want to handle the situation do i want to attack do i want to hit where it hurts or do i want to look at someone you know in the eye and and show them just show them how powerful my aura is when it comes to you know whatever it is i'm trying to get through uh to them so there's definitely a sense of how do i handle this or which direction do i go in okay now, the energy that we have here is the Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Three of Wands in the reverse. So there's going to be something that comes back from your past or something that you try to go back towards from your past. I just don't see that working out in this case, okay? Now, moving forward into the future, guys, the first card that we have is a Hanged Man, which is a beautiful energy to have because it puts you in a, you know, kind of like a mindset where you're not going to fight for something that doesn't feel natural for you. It's like you're not going to bend over backwards for something that just doesn't make sense. This is a more, you know, go with the flow person who's not going to overexert themselves. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. Okay. The High Priestess just popped up, so it's something that you are fully aware of in your mind. And we have the Tower card. 
So there's this big change that happens and you guys are very powerful in all this and you're really just going through with this, but there's conflict that comes with this change even though um, you're in a good place. It's like things are changing where you feel strong and it could definitely be something that benefits you, but it's like you lose out in another area. You have the Six of Wands in the reverse, so this is a card about something that isn't victorious, so let's see why that's there. Three of Swords in the reverse. Woo. All right. And we have the King of Pentacles. I'll acknowledge these, but I'm going to put them back in the deck. Something was inauthentic. It made, or it just made a situation very unhappy. All right. There's something that was draining you or someone around you. But there's a sense of maybe someone who is... It's like someone who's hiding how hurt they could be with something or someone who's just healing from something that wasn't successful. Again, we do have um, this Taurus Virgo uh, Capricorn energy, so it could be a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or something that has to do with money, finances, maybe somebody who's um, very well off in a financial sense, okay? The last card here, Cancer, is the Hermit card. Um, so this could be when we're just in a place where we really just need to retreat from everything around us, where we really want to think logically and we really want to use our wisdom when it comes to moving forward and making you know further decisions. Why is this Hermit card here? Empress card in the reverse? Page of Wands in the verse, so you have to kind of just like emancipate yourself from something. Something's not going to work out, something's not going to continue, and that's what brings you happiness, Cancer. So you guys become extremely happy by letting something go, but that something is still in your life, even though you know it has to go, but you're on the fence about it. You guys are doing the right thing, okay, for sure. With the higher font here, you're on a path for something that's going to be greater than you. This is you guys walking in your divine purpose. This is you guys being in alignment with your higher self. Okay. Um, so for the month of August, I know that it's now Leo season, um, but this is going to be the most powerful month of the year, guys. So I really just want you to kind of take on that Leo energy and really just push things through and get things done. Um, I, I just, I know last month was just a difficult month for a lot of people again i know it was your birthday month so hopefully it wasn't anything you know hard for you guys to go through um but it, yeah it kicked a lot of people's ass so really just embrace the shift in energy right now um you're you're a year older but now you just have so much wisdom um, i'm sure that there's a lot of stuff that you guys went through that just taught you a few lessons okay but now it's time for you to be happy and for you to take the path that's going to make you happy regardless of who it pisses off. All right, guys, so I'm going to pull three cards of advice for you guys. All right, guys, you have the Two of Cups, Seven of Wands, Moon card in the reverse. Your energy here is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so what it is here, whether it's you or somebody else, there is someone who is trying to build something here with the Three of Pentacles that they know on a deep level won't work out. There will be too many injustices or there's just some, you know, it won't have a fair outcome. So this is really what we want to focus on, this high priestess in the reverse, because that's when we know the truth to something, but we're in denial. Okay, so let me clarify these cards and see what the story is in regards to advice. We have the two of wands under the two of cups. Why is the seven of wands here? The world card. And why is this moon card in the reverse here? The nine of pentacles. There's something unconventional in your life that's just a bad idea, guys. I'm trying to see if it shows what happens just with letting this go. 
aside from like a lot of burden that you feel um, just with the situation so you're releasing that burden but it shows that there's definitely a path that somebody wants to take right now that may seem very very good but it might be a chapter that really needs to end we have the world card here so regardless of you know how this ends something very good does come into your life but i'm gonna pull you guys three more clarifiers we have the queen of pentacles in the reverse page of swords in the reverse yeah it's like someone they still want something in their life Although it, it's not 100% genuine anymore. And it's like someone is fed up and, and there could be arguing or a harsh sense of communication here. But with emancipating yourself from this and seeing the truth of what this is, life will move forward in a very excellent way. All right. So we'll focus on these two cards here. You guys have the world card. You guys have the wheel of fortune. So yes, something is ending, but you're going to be very happy with the direction that you go in. Okay. Okay. But there's something here that you guys have to move away from. It's just not going to work out for you. So whatever's causing you anxiety, wherever your soul is not 100% at ease, um, you have to make the choice to reject it. Okay? For some of you, maybe it's a lover that can't be trusted. Maybe you're the lover that can't be trusted. Maybe it's a friend or family member that can't be trusted. But someone's word is shit. Okay? Someone's not being authentic. And the lights turned off when that happened. Okay? So... Yeah, there's just something here, guys, that we've got to shut the lights off on, all right? My battery died. It's not just like a ghost just messing with my lights. It's my little stage light that I forgot to charge today. But yes, Cancer, that is what I see, loves. So remember, guys, you can still vote in the community section. I'm going to uh, post the readings for you guys probably tomorrow or a day or two, but definitely soon. And two things, guys, if you would like a personal reading, you can get it on my website, High Vibrations with Liz. I offer full reading. I offer an emergency reading if you guys need something quick. And then I offer quick questions if you just, you know, literally have one question. Uh, there's no limit on how many questions you get at once. So whatever works out for you, you guys can check that out. Link is in the description below. And then also, guys, on my Instagram, like I said in the beginning, High Vibrations 44, if you want to check out the daily energies that I post. Take care, guys.